How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we'll be comparing two very popular android skins we've got the OnePlus 13 which is currently running the latest Oxygen OS 15 and the Nothing Phone 2 that has the Nothing OS 3 based on Android 15 Guys it's going to be a really interesting video so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 fan rate likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let's talk about the lock screen and the always on display even though oxygen os offers so many customization features i like the fact that nothing os lets you view and access all your widgets directly from the always on display This is something which comes really handy at times and the best part is you can also set up those quick settings shortcuts as a widget which again is something really useful. Now coming to OnePlus, not only do we get this seamless transition from the always on display to your lock screen, but if you go into settings, wallpaper and style and then select always on display, here we have different unique clock styles specially designed for the always on display and you can create your own animated avatar. add some cool custom patterns you also get the canvas layout and there are some cool looking aod styles that change dynamically according to the weather the best part is you can also see real time updates about your food delivery and other services directly on the always on display by simply enabling the live alert option so you actually get some useful features on the oxygen s15 too now talking about the lock screen finally oneplus has added a lot of customizations with the oxygen s15 but the thing is we do not have the shortcut to go directly to the customization screen this is something which is quite annoying since on the nothing os you can just long press on the lock screen and you get the customize option which takes you directly to the customization page where you can simply swipe over the clock to choose between different clock styles and there are six cool looking clock faces you get on the nothing os 3 Apart from that you can also add some of your favorite widgets on the lock screen for quicker access and there is this option called expand widget area which will let you add more widgets for your convenience so nothing os is among the very few android skins that lets you add widgets to the lock screen as well as the always on display on the oxygen os 15 every time when you want to customize your lock screen you need to go to your settings and then to wallpaper and style here you get bunch of really cool looking themes for your lock screen we have got pulse light and shadow composition aerial view and many more you can select whichever you like and then you get the option to change the clock styles customize the color adjust the size you can also add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen and the best part is you can enable or disable the depth effect as well the only drawback is that you do not have the option to add your own font instead you can choose from any of these presets which are already present here They did an excellent job adding these customizations and now OnePlus has one of the best looking lock screens on Android. I also like how you can access multiple shortcuts by long pressing the fingerprint scanner. And to activate this useful feature, just go into the settings, accessibility and convenience and simply enable this option called quick launch. So the only thing missing on the OnePlus is the ability to add widgets on the lock screen. Moving on to the home screens, I'm actually not a huge fan of Nothing's monochromatic look. But luckily we do have the option to change the icon pack and even we can customize and apply different third party icon packs from the Play Store just like the Oxygen S15. One thing you cannot do on the Nothing OS is you can't resize or adjust the icon size which is something that Nothing needs to include in the upcoming updates. And on the OnePlus not only you can adjust the size but you can also change the shape of your app icons. Similarly we do get enlarged folders on both the skins but nothing lets you further customize and take it to the next level. You can change the shape of these enlarged folders, make them more rounded, squarish and there is this cover style option that lets you choose from these icons as a cover for your folders. Let's say you have a folder with full of games, then you can use this joystick icon as a cover and this actually looks super cool on the home screen. Now both the UIs allows you to change the system font and we've got a couple of nice looking fonts on Nothing and the OnePlus. In Oxygen OS 15, you can even download some unique fonts from the theme store. Yes, we do get a separate theme store on OnePlus where you can download and apply some cool looking themes on your phone. Guys, you can even customize the fingerprint animation on OnePlus. There is also the sidebar which not only lets you access your favorite apps and shortcuts but also saves text and images into the file dock then you can drag that item to share it with your friends in different apps without wasting your time 
with Oxygen S15, they have also added this Live Wallet feature, which works exactly like the dynamic island that we have on iPhone. Once you activate the Live Alerts option, let's say you set a timer on your phone. When you minimize the clock application, it goes straight into the punch hole and converts that into the dynamic island. It also works when you are playing music on Spotify or you can track your order from Swaggy or Zomato as well. The best part is, unlike the dynamic island, you can see and control multiple apps in an expanded view and I think this is the best implementation of the dynamic island on any Android phone. OnePlus has also improved the multitasking experience and now when you open apps in a split screen window, let's say you are watching a video on YouTube, now you can expand it much further, nearly to 85% of the screen and this way you can easily decide which app can occupy the larger area on the screen. It does actually help you make better use of the split screen feature compared to other Android skins. Now when I swipe up, we get this classic Android style app drawer on both the devices, but nothing has actually introduced a new style which can be enabled by clicking on this three dot button and here select the smart app drawer. This completely transforms the app drawer. As you can see, we've got all the apps neatly organized in different folders and I think it can be a lot easier to navigate, especially when you have loads of applications installed on your phone. The quick settings panel looked different on both the skins. Nothing OS has got a unique approach and I kind of prefer the quick settings we have got on the Nothing OS 3. At least it doesn't look like a copy of iOS and it even lets you customize the tiles into different shapes and sizes. On the Oxygen OS 15, if you go into edit, you get the option to choose between the classic and split view that separates all your notifications from the quick settings. So when you swipe from the right side, it opens the quick settings and by swiping from the left, it shows all your notifications, which is something again inspired by the iOS control center. Well, I know the design is subjective and you can surely have your own opinion on this, but if I have to pick one, I would definitely go with the Nothing OS 3 because it looks clean and resembles the Android design language. Now if I go into the widget section, not only the widgets look far better and has a uniform look to it, but the way these widgets are presented to you on the Nothing OS and well organized compared to Oxygen OS 15 as it doesn't show all the widgets in one place, you get all the Nothing widgets in a separate section and if you just swipe right, you get access to all other third party widgets. But one thing that I liked about the OnePlus is the background blur, which you get when access the quick settings or even when you open the app drawer. Because of the blur in the background, it just makes the icon pop on your screen and I think it does look much better compared to the plain white or dark background that we have on the Nothing OS. Now if we talk about the AI features, we do not have much on Nothing phones right now. They have recently added the essential space which is just related to screenshots and currently it is only available on the 3 devices. Then we have got circle to search followed by a couple of photo editing features like unblur and the magic eraser along with the Google Gemini. But on the Oxygen S15, there are many useful features like the AI Summary, AI Speak, Writing Tools and we have also got the AI Editor that contains many useful photo editing tools along with the Circle to Search and the Gemini Assistant also works really well on the Oxygen S15. So currently I would say OnePlus is way ahead in terms of the AI features compared to the Nothing OS 3. Finally, let's discuss animations. Guys have compared these phones side by side and even though you get a very smooth experience on both these Android skins, Oxygen OS 15 is definitely ahead in terms of the animations. In fact, the OnePlus currently has the smoothest and most fluid animations compared to other Android phones right now, thanks to the parallel animations. You will immediately notice a difference, especially when you quickly open and close applications or even the widgets. You can see how responsive the Oxygen OS 15 feels. But that doesn't make the Nothing OS bad or less smooth. In fact, the experience is going to be very similar and smooth. Even if you're coming from a OnePlus device, you will not notice any huge difference. Guys, if you want me to make a separate video comparing the animations on these phones, then let me know in the comments section. I'll try to do that very soon. Overall, I would say the Oxygen S15 is feature packed and has a lot of customization features along with those buttery smooth animations. But there is something special about the Nothing OS 3 since it gives you a very clean and polished experience, kind of similar to stock Android and it does feel like a different Android skin that actually stands out from the competition. So if you want loads of features and all those customizations, then you can definitely go with the Oxygen OS 15. But if you prefer something clean just like the stock Android with a different approach and some useful features, then the Nothing OS 3 is perfect for you. 
do let me know in the comment section which ui do you prefer and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one